when I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the nine at nine. All right, number nine, in honor of White Sox opening day, here's a fun fact that can divide the city or even a household. The White Sox and the Cubs only met one time in the World Series. The year was 1906. The White Sox won. As far as bragging rights go, the Southsiders are winning. Uh, let's see how this year goes. Hmm. All right, number eight, there is a time capsule on display at the National Museum of Korean Contemporary History in Seoul. And it is in honor of K-pop sensation BTS. The capsule was sealed on South Korea's first annual Youth Day back on September 19th of 2019. Members of BTS selected items that represented their musical achievements, memories, love and gratitude toward fans, etc. It's a purple box, but we don't know what exact items are inside. We'll have to wait a while. That BTS capsule will not be opened until 2039 on the 20th anniversary wow. of Youth Day. Boy, look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll break in. Uh -huh. Yeah, number seven, ladybugs are marvelous little creatures, and groundskeepers at Resort World Las Vegas are releasing thousands of them in hopes of eliminating some of the more annoying insects on the property. The plan is to reduce the use of pesticides. The ladybugs will be useful in killing off aphids, mealybugs, scale, leaf hoppers, and other insects that cause damage. Not only that, they're good luck. Obviously, ladybugs are a symbol of prosperity, which is good for a town like Vegas. You're a big believer in all that, Larry. Yeah, is that your scientific eyes. interpretation <laughs> there, Morgan? I did all the research yeah, this morning. <laughs> Came in early. All right, number six. Has anyone heard of this or experienced this when you're on a flight? Some parents, I guess, are actually handing out goodie bags to apologize in advance if they bring a baby on a flight. Has anyone been on a flight like no, that? No, but this bugs me. Okay, it's because you have a baby. Yours yeah, is how old? Like, I can't like, help Jay it. Jay is how old? Jay is six months. Okay. I can't help it if she cries. Yeah. I got to bring you goodie bags, yeah. too? Yeah, so this, look, at this apparently has been happening for a few years. <laughs> it happens every now and then. I guess it's not that common, but they might have earplugs, some yeah. small candies, a little notes, some, and it said, usually a note that says something like, my name is Braylon. I'll be one in a month, and this is my first flight. I'll try to be on my best behavior, but I'd like to apologize in advance if I lose my cool and start crying. My mom and dad packed these goodies for you. I mean, really? it's a nice thought. It it's is nice, a nice but thought, don't but try to a... make us all do that. Yeah, now it's like guilt and parents, and if you walk on a flight, you have to do and I, That's a lot of people on that flight. Flight and all the stuff you got to bring when you're traveling with a baby. Now I got to bring 52 goodie bags with me. Yeah. Like, where do those go? Right. Who's paying for the extra bag? If you want yeah. privacy, you drive yeah, where you're going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I paid for that seat and for my two year old. Right. And anyone who doesn't understand, what's wrong with yeah. you? Right, I mean, if you're seriously. really mad about that, yeah, you yeah. got an issue. You, you got, got bigger issue. problems. Yeah. And if that goodie bag is the thing that cheers you up from that? Yeah. No. Thank you. Number five, some more from the Twitter account, 80s news screens. Neat, Neat things, things to, to know. know. Ooh, I'm going to steal that. Look at a nice stash. Larry, yeah. I feel like you could rock that look. Yeah, I really could. Still had more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Digital, incredible, sound, clear. Disc. Oh, this oh, newfangled CD. Gorgeous gams. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can bring that one back. Oh, look at that. Nancy That's Reagan a, and Elf. Change the world. Yep. Oh, jeez. Number one nut man. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonorrhea. Thank goodness. That's good news. You got to put some good news in there. All right, number four. <laughs> if you ever wanted to go live in Antarctica with the penguins, now's your chance. The UK Antarctic Heritage Trust is looking for someone to run things. You'd live on the land, manage the gift shop, keep track of the penguins. I think we did this story last week, yeah, Larry. We did. But let's worth, worth, worth repeating. repeating. They haven't found anybody yet. You'll no. spend five months from November to March living at Base A. That's a tiny island located off the Antarctic Peninsula. Most days the temperatures will be around freezing. That's not accounting for wind chills. Mm. You'll have to spend many hours outside, no insulation or heating. Warm clothing will be provided for you, but you'll want to pack extra thermals. No running water on the island. Water is collected in cans from visiting ships and those ships drop off your food. <laughs> also worth noting, I think when we did this story last time, there's no internet, which right. was the big uh, 
big deal no breaker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a deal breaker. Unless this is another Antarctic job. Yeah. yeah. But there's your, uh, you can go, well, we'll post where you can go to get the information on our website. <laughs> you don't want it anyway, yeah. so. If you really want it, yeah. yeah. All right, number three, it's a trend all over TikTok right now. People are taping their foreheads to get rid of their wrinkles. Oh, my. They're, Where's the tape go? They're calling it instant Botox. They're basically putting tape on their foreheads overnight, and then they wake <gasps> up the next day with less wrinkles. A no. woman named Instant Rapunzel tried it. Her video, her talk, has been viewed about three and a half million times. Doctors warn it's not actually taking away the wrinkles. No. We had to get a doctor for that. Jeez. <laughs> it's not a long-term solution. No. Yeah, they are saying the taping process is reminding people to not raise their eyebrows up and down, which obviously causes the wrinkles in the first place. So. Right. You. I'm not opposed to trying new things, but <laughs> yeah. it seems like that's not going to be permanent. No. Yeah. And you but might it might, wanna... might get you through like the 6 a.m. Yeah, hour right, and then yeah. by, by 8 a.m. You're I'm... like. And then you're right back to where you started from, Morgan. Yes, see. Just, <laughs> just wait. Just we're telling yeah. you this is your future. I know. Yeah. But yeah. This, isn't this, isn't this part of that thing that you always say, too? It's like the bait and switch. You could show up to a date and you have a smooth forehead because you just left your house with tape right. on yeah. your eyebrows. And then by the time the dessert rolls around, don't give me pretty wrapping paper in a bowl. I want to know what's in the box, right? The yeah, next thing you know, you're having kids and they're ugly. You think, wait a minute, I married Stop this woman it. who was beautiful. Well, yeah. someone thinks you're unattractive. Yeah. A lot of people do. That's their problem. <laughs> Larry's true. She, and sorry, ladies, he's taken. Yeah. I'm just going to put it out there. Darn it. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an idiot. Uh, Your wife is emailing me right now, uh, telling she, me to tell, she, call you an idiot. She's texting you, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, I'll look back at this video we showed you yesterday, a music video from 1988, Saxon, Ride Like the Wind. Christopher Cross, but um, uh, Christopher Cross was, uh, I think it was like 1980, and we wanted, is there a music video? And there really isn't a music video, but we do have the original version from Christopher Cross uh, performing live with his backup singer. Social media famous, but there they weren't yeah. really working on the videos. But Michael McDonald was singing a backup line in like 80% of all top 40 hits, in addition to his own songs. Why? Because he was that good. He just had that sound that was so recognizable. But you think, boy, they had to pay him a ton of money just to sing like five words. Yeah. They could have given you like a tenth of the paycheck, Robin, and yeah. could have saved themselves a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, and I would have really sold it. <laughs> I always wanted to be a backup singer. I can't even hold a tune to be yeah. a backup singer. What happened to Christopher Cross? Didn't he have like, like 20 hits in like 1980? Yeah, well, he had that one album. I think he was the first person to sweep all the major categories in one year, and then, and then he then just kind of he went away. I kind of respect that. Yeah, Let's, go uh, count Google. your money. Let's Google that, Larry. I'm yeah. going to get on that and, you know. I think he was sick for a while, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Oh, no. Yeah, there really was he? Yeah, but uh, oh, listen, Arthur's theme. Uh, Sailing. Sailing. Yeah. Takes me way. You've heard that oh, one. Oh, boy. In the dentist's office, no. for sure. Well, the dentist's well, office, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> <laughs> that's the night at night. That's where it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I'm watching that 